Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from Jacques Gaines Photography. Today I'm going to shoot um, some, I'm going to try to shoot some skaters. Uh, these guys are normally cool when you walk up to them, they like to get their shots. What I do when I deal with skaters, uh, I just walk up to them with my business card. I give them my business card and say, do you guys mind if I shoot? I'd like to shoot you guys and do some cool stuff. And then I give them, I give them photos. I mean, uh, they're nice enough to let me actually shoot them and they're really good at what they do so it's kind of cool that they get photos. I give them a Dropbox link and they can go download their shots. So I'm going to approach them today, probably do some drone footage and shoot with the Canon 80D and the 10, 1018 which is probably cool because I think when it comes to skaters you got to shoot wide. So guys, this is where I'm shooting, right over here, right there. Oh boy, I just tried to film them, but they're super unreceptive. They just don't want to be filmed. So they just sit around waiting for me to leave. Well, I got news for them, I'm not leaving at all. So that was very, very cool, everybody. Listen, I do not know when I'm gonna be able to edit this, but let me tell you, it was really, really cool. A couple of notes I just wanna make on shooting skateboarders. I was at one two fiftieth of a second. Sometimes I'd go all the way to one four hundredth and one five hundredth to actually get nice frozen shots. But if I wanted a bit of a motion blur and the motion blur gives you the illusion that there's movement, which is quite important at times. You have to slow down and find that sweet spot. So for skateboarders, I think two, one two fiftieth, one three hundredth of a second is really, really good because you, what you do is you allow there to be a blur and you get that sharpness and that clearness. Yes, you can add motion blur in post, but I wouldn't because I just think it looks really, really fantastic um, if you get actual natural motion blur because that's what you want. As you can see, I'm sweaty. I always get so friggin' hot when I actually shoot. That happens in the winter, it happens in the summer. It's not because it's hot outside. I guess with the concentration, my body heat goes up and I definitely burn some energy. But it was a fucking blast. I hope you enjoy the pictures. Here they are. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for my high quality step check out Behance. If you want to keep in cahoots with what I do, everybody, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up at the bottom. And don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.